Welcome to Jim Connor Tips and Tricks, The Circle of Trust. The Circle of Trust is a basic Jim Connor obstacle. All you need to set one up is a cone, a couple of sticks or poles, some string, and some cut up tennis balls. Tie a 12 foot length of string in between the two sticks or poles, insert one end into the center cone, and walk off the distance with the other stick or pole. Gently walk in a circle while dropping cones in a 12 foot radius and a 24 foot diameter circle. Once you're finished with the circle, place two cones at the entrance or the gate. Instruct your rider to circle the outside of the circle until they feel comfortable with the turning radius. Once they feel comfortable, instruct them to turn inside the circle, keeping their front tire as close to the circle as they possibly can. Once the rider is inside the circle, you can assess problems with clutch, throttle, braking, and turning. If your rider is putting their foot down, they don't have enough throttle clutch or too much brake. This rider is turning too tightly and is not dragging the rear brake at all. As you will see, most riders enter the circle at a bad angle and just go straight across most of the time. You may need to lead them through the circle the first time to show them actually how to achieve the right angle. Um, this happens on, on both directions. Whichever way they go through first, they tend to go straight through the circle because they don't understand you need to have the full circle to be able to turn. Um, that's not really true, but for new riders it really is. You need that whole 24 feet to be able to make that turn. Um, as you can see, with a bit more practice, you can get tighter and tighter on the circle. Um, depending on the bike, you can get really tight, 16, 14 feet even. Again, you want to start your riders on the outside of the circle. And this is a little bit fast. You should probably slow them down a little bit slower than this. Get them to feel comfortable. And when they feel froggy, let them jump inside at the proper angle. Uh, you don't want them going straight across. But get them to keep that front wheel as close to those balls as they can because they will need all the turning radius they can get at the beginning. Um, they can get tighter in at the end, but when they first start out, you don't want them panicking, you don't want them dropping their bike. So get them to keep it, uh, keep their front wheel as far out as they possibly can in the beginning. And they should get a little bit more comfortable. Watch their braking, throttle control, and clutch and make sure they're executing properly.